name is Lucas Burke. I'm an Austrian photographer, um, collector, publisher, I would say. Um, I do primarily research in photographic culture and history. Um, currently, I'm working primarily in Myrma, in, in, in Burma, on a large-scale project to preserve photographic history, um, where I collected materials over the last five years. Um, and usually I transform my work into a book or a book object. That's one of the main outputs. So I would also call myself a bookmaker. Um, I also do workshops and teach. And um, yeah, I would say overall I work with photography no matter what it is. Sometimes it might be uh, printmaking or uh, it might be exhibition making, so on and so on. But it's usually the base is always photography. Um, well, it started with it has sort of a pre-story um, that my colleague Sean Foley and I, we were working on a project in Afghanistan before about tourism to conflict areas, um, where we spent several months, but primarily in Pakistan actually, but then also in Afghanistan, um, sort of trying to document tourism to conflict areas, which turned then into films and a book and uh, also exhibitions. And there we, we encountered this camera in Mazari Sharif in the north of Afghanistan, and we're both very much fascinated and also the cover of the book later on is, is, is taken with a box camera and it was really fascinating and, and it, it really stayed with me and I started to build these cameras myself. I moved to Beijing um, soon after and built the first camera and experimented with it but I wasn't quite sure how they actually worked because I never looked inside a box. It was just from the outside so I just imagined how it could work um, and then I thought wow it would be great to document these guys if they're still around and then I asked John if he'd be interested in, in doing a project and he was and we went back to Afghanistan and started to research and started to find photographers, do lots of interviews. Um, we were lucky to still find some working photographers and a few recently retired ones so there was still active information which we could document and we made these films. Um, how to use a box camera later on, how to build a box camera, these small sort of technique films with the photographers, which was, I mean, for us, definitely magic to hear all these stories. And I think that's also what this project is, 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 a, is, a, is, is we took those stories and we tried to basically just pass them on. And it's definitely their voices that you hear in the project. Yeah, definitely. There were lots of photographers who, who it was clear for them that analog photography was the real art. It was digital photography is, is a technique, but analog photography, whether it was box camera or with film later, that was a real, that was a real art yeah. and, and you needed skill and you needed experience and so on. Digital is just pressing the button and that sentiment we heard very often. And, uh, and, and in terms of how they reacted, it was really warm and surprising and, and proud also. I guess, I mean, that's anybody anywhere in the world, if you ask about what you do and you have sincere interest and, and you tell me your story, I mean, you know, you're proud to tell what you do. And many of them did that for many decades and through a lot of hardship and, and still were always creative. And that's, and that's really fascinating. And also on the first trip, um, we bought a box camera. So I, one of the box cameras I built, the idea was that I would take pictures of the box camera photographers with my box camera which I also did. The pictures are so so by the quality, but, but because it's, it was often a real um, yeah, adventure to set up your box camera in front of a, a shop and all of a sudden you have 50 people around you and everybody, which in Afghanistan is, uh, you always have like an extra layer of concern maybe, mm -hmm. uh, if there's too many people around. But yeah, we managed to get a few nice photographs. But um, that definitely helped, having a box camera and being it's photographer to photographer, it's eye to eye. It's not we're making, we're not making a, an academic research or, or we're really interested in the photography craft and I'm a photographer and we bring this box camera. So it's, it's very much, we're telling each other stories. Mm -hmm. And that, that definitely was, I think, the way to approach it and, and, and everybody was actually welcoming us. We never had any refusal or somebody didn't want to talk to us. Mm -hmm. It was always very warm hearted. Uh, most of the photographers definitely know what has been going on and, and have been on the websites. Um, we have a very close translator that we worked with who delivered the books at the time when they came out. 
um, to the photographers and then I also went three, three and a half years ago to Afghanistan and met many of them again and uh, which was fantastic to, to talk about it and many of them had been on the website, had seen their portfolios also that we created for them and, and also have the book so as, a, as, a, as, an, as an object basically and, and that's, I think that's really important to, to bring that back. That's very tough, I mean it's tough to say where where that project is in sort of my spectrum, but it definitely made me more interested in archives because we accidentally created an archive. We were collecting these photographs and then at one point realizing that we have probably the biggest box camera collection from Afghanistan ever gathered. Uh, this was accidentally of sorts. And that definitely made me think a lot um, about the responsibility you also have with, with such a collection. I mean, that access definitely is, is, comes more from, um, from Sean within that field. I guess for me the work is quite naturally, automatically in, in an ethnographic field just because of my interest. Certain parts don't, I think don't have to be um, approached in a too artistic way because this content, especially in the Afghan box camera for example, the stories are so strong the, 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 the narratives from these people, I don't need any artistic inputs there. It's, it, what, what they have is so beautiful that you, I don't have to add too much of my own um, input into it. So actually it's more of a transmitting. Yeah? It's, it's, it's taking the stories, transforming them maybe a little bit so that they're digestible. That's curating, I suppose, and then, and then releasing them. And that is something that is more ethnographic, I think, rather than artistic, because there would be more of a transformation of that, of that story if I would be more the artist and, and try to make it my own, which is not the, not the case here. We're, we're, more, we're transmitting what they tell us, and uh, I think there's quite a big of a difference between, in that case, being more, you could call it a curator, but you also could say it's an ethnographic approach rather than an artistic approach.